today I want to talk about why it is not only okay, but extremely healthy for targets to come up with counter strategies to shut down abuse. A lot of people criticize targets who do this because they think that when a target resorts to managing the narcissist that they then have become a narcissist or that they are going to become a narcissist or that they're all now they're toxic because they are countermanaging well i need to clear this up because i think that this there's a huge misconception one argument is that uh, we can say that the target has very high standards and that if they lower themselves to being manipulative like the narcissist, then uh, the some people think that then the target is lowering their standards to that of the narcissist. This is not true. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if your standard is up here, that never changes. This is your standard. What happens is when a toxic person comes into your life and they don't have any standards and they're just nasty, shady people and they're down here and they start attacking you, well, if you come down and you protect yourself and you put up a shield, you're not lowering your standards. You're adapting to your environment. These are two completely different things. And apparently, this is a very difficult concept for a lot of targets to grasp. Because a lot of targets refuse to use counter strategies to stop the abuse because they have convinced themselves that then they are now this terrible manipulative person. And I'm here to tell you, no, you're not. Your standards have not changed. You do not actively go out to manipulate people. That's the difference. Your standards are staying up here. All you're doing is you are protecting yourself. It's called self-care. So, for example, if someone starts verbally abusing me and I start using body language as a tool to get the abuser to disengage voluntarily, I'm not being manipulative. I'm not being a narcissist. I am protecting myself. I am not lowering my standards. I'm adapting to my environment so that I can survive and protect myself. I hope this is making sense. I'm going to give an analogy just in case there's someone who still doesn't understand what I'm talking about. If I'm in a room with another person and there's a gun in front of me and the other person has a gun and the other person picks up their gun and points it at me and says, I'm going to rape you and then I'm going to shoot you in the head. Well, if I use the logic that I cannot lower my standards, uh, therefore I should just stand back well, and I should just let them rape me and murder me. Because if I were to pick up the gun to protect myself, apparently I'm lowering my standards to the other person. Uh, I don't think so. 
who in their right mind is going to stand back and say, yeah, go ahead, rape me and murder me, and um, be, I can't pick up that gun and protect myself because if I do, I'm lowering my standards. This is ridiculous. There is no logic behind this rationale. I hope you're getting it. When someone is aggressing upon you and you aggress back, you are not lowering your standards. You're adapting to your environment. You are engaging in self-care, in self-protection. Okay, that's it. If you are still confused, ask a question, post it below, and I will clear it up for you. So that's it. And targets, protect yourself. It's okay to come up with strategies to manage toxic people at work, in your neighborhood, at the grocery store, someone you're living with. You're not lowering your standards. You're protecting yourself. That's it. See you later. Bye.